In this part of the course, we're going to look at how to format the text on a web page. We don't want to mix the content of the web page, namely the text here. We don't want to mix that up with the actual formatting of the text. So what we do is we create a new file. If we look inside here, you can see that I've now where my Stegosaurus index is and my image. So I've created a new folder called Styles. I've created a new file called main.css. We're going to look at that in a moment. I've called it main.css. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Now, up, back up in the heading, the head part of our page, we're going to put in this line of text. We're going to link our web page using href styles slash main CSS. It's a style sheet and the type is text slash CSS. I'm going to save that. Now that means that this is now linked to that file that I showed you a while ago. Now the file is written in CSS. So let's open this up. I'm going to open this up again in Notepad. And as you can see, there is at the moment nothing in there. But you may recall that we had a tag called the body. And so if we type in here body and then some open curly brackets and the word color colon green, then you will be able to see when I save it, save this file as well to make sure everything's saved properly and refresh this, all the text turns into green apart from the link which has its own separate formatting okay i could change this to red okay and save it and all my text turns to red the advantage of this is i'm keeping the formatting separate from the text itself i'm going to go back to green and i can do this for H2, for example, and in H2, I can now uh, change the color of that to a different color, say green, this is going to, uh, say red, this is going to look a little bit garish now, uh, and save it, and go to F5, you see that my headings, H2, are all in red, and the rest of the text is in green. And I can change the font size, the font family. If I do font hyphen size, colon 14 point. Okay, you can see that I've now the semicolon separates them. And the font size of this has gone slightly bigger. The best way of learning this, of course, is online. So one of the things that you should do is when you're asked to do a particular exercise, like change the size of the font or the font family, have a look up on the internet and find out what the syntax or the way it should be done is given. Looking things up and learning for yourself is very good. You cannot cover everything in a tutorial like this. But that's the basic essence of what you need to do.